Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you about the first episode of Season 6, Black Mirror. First episode called, Joan is Awful. Watch out for spoilers. A girl named Joan wakes up and gets herself cleaned up and then has breakfast with her husband Krish. Joan goes to work where she works as a technical director. An assistant informs Joan of a meeting that does not please her. Joan is forced to fire the employee because her algorithm is not needed by the board. Joan apologizes and walks out. Then carelessly drops a cigarette on a former employee. Joan talks to a psychologist. She finds her work very difficult and her life has become routine. Joan is also disappointed in her husband, he is nice but rather boring. She feels that she is not the main character in her life. Joan comes to a meeting with her ex. The ex is interested in her life and her new boyfriend. He says he wants to be with her again. They then kiss, but Joan can't do that. She returns home where she is met by Krish. They sit down to watch something. Suddenly they find a new show on the service called, Joan is Awful, starring Selma. They decide to see what it is. They are surprised that the apartment looks exactly like their apartment. The new show starts to spread, everyone is surprised that the main character looks like Joan. Joan is shocked and doesn't understand why the show is the same as her life. She starts to panic, everyone involved with Joan is also surprised by this. Joan behaves more horribly in the show, Joan is not as horrible as she is there. Joan finds out that all of her family has also seen the show. Krish notices the messages from the ex, Joan says none of it is true and tries to turn it off. Krish observes Joan saying how her lover is boring and cooks blandly. Joan tries to prove that none of this is true. Krish believes these words and wants to leave. Also sees Joan and her ex kissing. The show shows the evening where Joan and Krish also notice a new show about her life. Krish asks to show him his phone to prove it's not true. Joan can't and he leaves. Joan sees a moment that happened to her a moment ago. The ex calls, but Joan is hysterical. The next day, Joan also goes to work, everyone looks at her with disapproval. The assistant says that the board is going to fire her for talking about the algorithm and data. Joan doesn't realize, since it wasn't her, it was Selma on the show. Joan leaves the office and observes her life at home. Joan does not know what she should do next. She goes to her lawyer and learns that the streaming service has every right, for Joan herself gave them that right. The lawyer says that by accepting the terms of the contract with the streaming service, she gave the streaming service the right to use her life. Joan accepted the terms and there's nothing to be done about it. Joan says she'll sue the actress, but the lawyer says the show is entirely generated by a powerful quantum computer and there are no real actors in it. Through digital devices, the service learns everything about Joan's life. Also the made-up information in the show is designed to be dramatic and there is nothing Joan can do. Joan goes to her ex and sees that he is also watching the show. He comforts her and then they make love. The ex doesn't work out because he knows it's going to be on the show. Now he doesn't want to have a relationship again as Joan's life is too public and she leaves. Joan starts watching the show and she gets an idea. Joan buys burgers and starts eating them and then takes a laxative. She arrives at the church where the wedding is being held. Joan wishes everyone a Merry Christmas and defecates. She is arrested, but her lawyer bails her out and she is released. With pleasure, Joan watches this scene on the show. The real actress extremely disliked it, but she also signed a contract for the use of her image and everything that will happen. The lawyer says he's looked into everything he can and they won't be able to sue the service. Selma is extremely unhappy and says she will sue him then. Selma comes to see Joan. Selma does not like Joan's act of emptying herself in the church. Joan says she lost everything because of the show, and Selma agreed to be the face of it all. Joan apologizes for the act, she just wanted Selma to fix the service issue, but Selma says there is nothing she can do either. She was cheated out of a lot of money and paid far less than she was promised. Joan is not being paid anything at all, which really surprised Selma. Selma says she would like to rip the wires out of the computer that is creating this show. 
Joan says they will do it, they just need to get to the server room at the main office of the service. Selma arrives at the main office and says she has a meeting with the director. She is allowed into the restroom. The director is told that Selma is demanding a meeting, but the director tells her to just get kicked out of the office. Selma lets Joan in and they sneak into the office. The director talks about the quantum computer that creates this. Joan, this is just the beginning, a show will be created for everyone who is connected to the service about their life. Life of an interviewer is also coming out soon on Friday. Selma and Joan sneak into the office where the guy is sitting. Selma threatens him not to call security. Joan sees himself, but it must be Selma after all. The guy says that she is also one of the versions of Joan and shows the real girl. And her image is taken from an actress he also shows. The guy says they are all not real and are programmed to believe they are real. Joan knocks him out and goes in search of the computer. Joan hesitates to do this, the director comes in and says you can't do this because billions of other characters will die, including them. Joan starts to break the computer and we are shown the real Joan and Annie. Joan is now living her life again and her life has gotten better. She has a new boyfriend and has opened her own coffee shop. Joan and Annie are in custody but are now best friends. This is where the first episode of Season 6, Black Mirror, ends. Subscribe to the channel to see more interesting retellings of movies and series.